In today's module, we're going to be looking at what the different types of variables are in science experiments and what we can do to ensure that our experiments we design are fair. So the three types of variables are independent, dependent, and controlled. An independent variable is the variable that you change in the experiment in each of your trials. The dependent variable is what you are actually measuring. So it depends on the independent variable. These are your results that you are recording. Controlled variables are everything that stays the same. So let's look at this example. If you want to know what color bird beaters that birds prefer. So we've got three different colors, red, blue, and green. So our independent variable is the variable that changes with each of these feeders. And as we look at this, the only variable that is different is the color. So that is our independent variable. Our dependent variable we would measure at the end, um, and that would be the amount of seed eaten. And so we would know that whichever of our birdhouses had the least amount of seed left, that means that's the one that the birds prefer. All right, our controls are everything that's kept the same. So all of our feeders need to be located in the same general area. They are all the same type, the same shape. We're using the same type of food. We want to make sure that everything other than our independent variable is kept the same. All right, if everything is held constant, then we can say our experiment is fair. If we have more changes, like our birdhouses are at different heights, they have different brands of food, then we don't know which variable is causing birds to prefer one birdhouse over another. All right, so let's look at Sam's birdhouse experiment. Would you say this is a fair experiment? I would say no, uh, because the birdhouses are in different locations. So we are looking at multiple variables here, not just the color of the birdhouse. So this is why it's important to only change one at a time, one thing at a time, so we know which variable is actually influencing our results. Okay, If you don't have everything constant aside from your independent variable, you're not going to know what is the result or what's causing your results. All right, let's look at this example. How does diet affect a fish's ability to swim through a maze? Patrick thinks that each microwave that thinks fish that eat microwave food are smarter than fish that do not. Patrick times the fish going through a maze before and after eating. Ten fish get microwave food. Ten fish get non-microwave food. So pause the video for a second and think about what your independent variable is, what your dependent variable is, and what your controls are. All right, so the independent variable is whether or not the fish got microwave food or regular food. Dependent is the time it takes to get through the maze. The reason that's the dependent variable is because those are the results that we are getting. It depends on whether or not the fish had microwave food or not. Our controlled variables, we want to make sure we have the same fish species. That might, if we have two different species, that could affect their speed through the maze. Um, the shape of the maze, we want to use the exact same maze for each fish so that the only thing that's affecting how they're getting through is whether or not their food is microwave. So that being said, we want to make sure we have the same type and amount of food. The only variable we're changing is the independent, so whether or not it's microwaved. All right, here's another example. Take a second to pause and read through and identify what the variables are. Okay, you can check your results. All right, here's another example. We're going to look at how diet affects the length and complexity of bird songs. All right, so in this one, it says starlings that ate a controlled diet were compared to those that ate earthworms at, from a sewage treatment plant. The starlings that ate the earthworms that were contaminated with estrogen sang five times as long as the starlings on the controlled diet. They also sang more complex songs. All right, so what would be our independent variable? What would be the dependent variable? And what controls were in place? All right, so the independent is their diet. Was it contaminated or not? 
dependent, we measured the length and complexity of the songs. The controlled, we had the same types of birds. They were all starlings. Things that we could not control were the age and gender, whether or not they were male or female or how old the birds were. All right, one more example, if you will pause and read through and see if you can identify what the independent variables should be, the dependent variables, and controls. How would you set up this experiment? Okay, check your results. Okay, we will be looking at several other examples in class. Um, if you need further description on variables and controls and experiments, I will include another video clip that is optional to watch.